Hello Unpluggers. Well, today we're going to draw that quintessentially English thing, a cup of tea. So we're going to start out with the top of the cup. It's going to be a rather nice teacup. Very civilised English teacup. And this is going to be the saucer at the bottom. And we can correct it as we go along because it may not be quite as we want. So we'll bring in the cut sides like that. And across the bottom. And then we need to have the bottom of the saucer here. teacup handle which should be rather delicate and special like that. Make that double thickness so that we kind of give it the impression of to correct we can do that now and obviously that is going to overlap there a bit too big to me and that's the great thing about starting out in pencil is you can correct yourself as you go along like that and the level of the T okay and now we're going to put a we're going to do this with a, a nice grey pen. to go a bit lighter 
through to this side. So it looks a bit swirly. And what I'll do is I'll get a special blending pen, which is like this, just a sort of a plain pen. And you can just straight that across there. So we've got a nice cup of tea. And what we need is a little bit of steam coming out the top of that tea. So I'm going to do a little bit of this like that. But we're going to use this blending pen again and see if we can merge that into a nice little tuft of smoke coming out of there. I think we need a bit of a pattern on this teacup. So we're going to have a little chain here with some little leaves like that. All very refined and sophisticated, just like we like it. And then a, a round of dots. This reminds me very much of some china my mum used to have. We might colour these in black. It's quite a nice sort of subtle monochrome type look. when it's a little bit rustic, doesn't it? Now these look like they need a bit more dark, strong colour there. And a nice, strong black. And the other thing we've missed out is some dots on the handle as well. 